Four construction workers at the metro construction sites have died in four months in Bengaluru. The latest victim was a 56-year-old labourer from Andhra Pradesh who fell to his death from the concourse level while doing the chipping work. According to the cops, the worker was not provided adequate safety equipment and training. The construction site safety net gave away, killing him instantly and, in, and also uh, there was no way he could be prevented from the fall. I think uh, it's a classic case of a total collapse of uh, accountability uh, where I think uh, when people die, the managing director of the company has to be held accountable, not the contractor. Because it's the failure of the managing director that the contractor behaves like this. And this has been happening systematically. And there has been a colossal uh, law, you know, uh, failure on the part of the state government to also monitor the work of BMRCL because the safety aspect of workers in particular is with the labor department. How do you really construct a huge mega project like this when you don't have safety officers? If I look at the things which has happened in the last uh, uh, very short and which is unfortunate, uh, very, very unfortunate things is that two cases are accidents basically mm. because whatever precautions were taken but still accident has happened. But in respect of the other two cases where they have fallen, that is through slipping and falling. In those two cases, we have seen that whether it is the negligence of the person or whether it is negligence of the mm -hmm. supervisor who was supervising the mm -hmm. work. So, these are being investigated. The rising number of accidents on metro construction sites in the IT capital of the country, Bengaluru, has become a cause of concern. The reason we say this is another construction worker leaving his family behind in Andhra Pradesh had come down to Bengaluru to earn his bread and butter, but he lost his life right here at this construction site in Pattangiri near the Kengiri satellite town in Bengaluru. Well, let's give you a recreation or an understanding of what exactly happened on that day. While the worker was actually standing here, he was in fact involved in some drilling work is what we're given to understand. And while, you know, the machine in his hand has in fact slipped from a height of almost about a good 8 meters to 30 feet to give you an understanding, he's slipped through the safety net that was here and he's fallen to his death right below. As you can still see, his shoes are present over there and this is exactly where it happened. Now this brings back to the question of how safe are these construction sites? Are enough safety measures guaranteed while the contractor takes up these works? Is training given to these workers? Are they aware of the risks that they're going to undergo while they're working on these sites? That is something that has become a cause of concern time and again. While four people were arrested in this particular case and were also let out on bail, the bigger question remains, when will the Metropolitan Authority, when will the BMRCL actually take responsibility and ensure that these contractors, that these agencies are penalized till they pull up their socks.